No, you're not. If your birthday is whatever, whatever, 2000, you are a 2000s baby. That's how that works. On CNN. Get out of here. He's saying January 5th, 2000 was when he was born. Thank you. No, 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 no. grow up in the 90s to be called a 90s baby. Don't call alligator big mouth till you cross the creek. Don't call alligator big mouth till you cross the creek. Maybe the accents are a little tougher to understand right now, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I mean, yeah, they're a little different. Uh, Eric, right when he got here, he would say A after some things he would say, so we gave him a hard time about that. The food is a lot different. Up north, it's you have the same Applebee's, V-dubs, all that, and down here, it's barbecue. That's it. Obviously, there's some weird stuff people do. No, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun to get in there and uh, you get to see them every day and uh, you get to mess with them and everything. We kind of all mess around in there. All of us are down the one hall, so it's you'll catch a couple guys in the hallway and throwing a football down the hall, go into each other's room just randomly and just scare the crap out of each other. I always knew I wanted to come here because my mom graduated from Mississippi State. I can't remember the last year that they had a bad year, and the facilities that we have now are unbelievable. For me, it was the baseball program and how big it was to its fan base and just all the tradition they have. Um, it was just, you, you want to be a part of something like this. How is a brotherhood and how big of a brotherhood it was, and then with the development standpoint, it is the best baseball school to come to to get you ready for a pro ball. I always wanted to play here. It kind of wasn't really a doubt in my mind when they offered me. And that's what I tell everybody, like, if you come watch a game here, like, you'll know why. One thing that stands out to me is probably their maturity. Uh, a lot of guys come in and a lot of them are talented, but this group is really mature to me. For a lot of them, it's just being patient, uh, sticking with their process, and knowing that at some point in time, they're going to get a chance. In high school, you're the dude and everything, and now it's everyone's a dude, and that's where you have to mature as a player. I think it's a faster paced game, and that's the biggest thing. I knew coming into it, that's what I was gonna have to deal with. That's how you get better. Uh, you gotta play better competition. Players like Jake, um, hey, he doesn't give it to you easy. You, you gotta earn every single pitch, every single out you get against him. They've hit the ground running. They've come in knowing, kind of knowing their role and what they want to do as players. They've come in and taken this new tradition that we have here, a new coaching staff, and just done, done really well with it. Very talented and very deep. And I think that's one of the biggest things you see with this group. This is a deep class, some very good high school players. And you don't get guys that come in and are facing SEC talent and producing at the level that they are. So I think them being ranked fifth kind of kind of played into exactly who they are and uh, what they do. I mean, you have some guys like JT, Eric, all those guys, and it's, we could do really something special with that group. I've never been around a team um, that has as much pride for the uniform as some of these kids do, and they, they love it. Price is ready. Skelton sets up, pitch on the way, swinging strike three, and this ball game is over. Price has struck out Bortles to end it. I was just happy to be here, honestly, and once I started performing well, I got more opportunities and more chances in high leverage situations, and I like that as a as a pitcher. I took that and ran with it, and it worked out pretty well for me. On the pitch, and he struck him out, swinging on another breaking ball. What a fine job out of the bullpen by the right-hander Spencer Price, who looks like he has great confidence in that breaking pitch. It was about 35 degrees outside. So probably a Tuesday night. Just a regular scrimmage day for us. And on my last warm-up pitch, I kind of felt something kind of weird in my arm. Kind of shook it out. Playing for so many years, you have weird things happen in your arm. You're just kind of like, uh, all right, I'm good. But this one was different. 
he came in, we take a look at him, and you know, it just it didn't look right from from the instant we looked at him. We decided immediately and that we were gonna go get an MRI the next day and consult with Dr. Rusty Linton. Upon review of that MRI, we found out that he indeed needed to have Tommy John surgery. I've played every single baseball season since I was three years old, and just having to know that I wasn't gonna play was really tough for me. I went through everything to prepare myself to play, and then just like that, it's gone. I had to keep myself focused on what I had to do to come back and be better. The first five to six weeks that we worked really hard on range of motion with Spencer, and that's, that's pretty typical with every Tommy John surgery. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, there's a lot of soreness, there's a lot of pain, but you have to work through that to get your range of motion back. I made the decision to absolutely do my best in rehab so I can come back and be better. Every Tommy John surgery is a little bit different. We started throwing at about the four and a half month mark. That was the last thing I remember throwing was pain. It was just something I had to get mentally past because I was scared it was gonna hurt again. The surgeries went fine and everything is good. You just have to, you just gotta do it. Spencer is a goofball at times, but he's very serious when it comes to his rehab. And I think that the lighter side of him has helped him through this long process. I've missed the competitiveness of baseball and just being able to go out and perform under heightened circumstances, not in just a regular bullpen setting, and being able to, to face somebody else was something that I enjoyed the most. Just to get out there for the first time and see a live hitter and have his velocity be pretty close to normal was, was a big step for him and, and I know he's really happy about where he's at. I've had tons of guys to lean on that have been through this same exact uh, recovery and just having guys that got my back and they're just they're like, man, we can't wait for you to get back, man. We, we really, really need you to come back. And just having those guys behind me really helps my recovery and knowing to do the best that I can to come back and help win. We've had great weather. We've been able to jump out there and get our innings in. Pitching's been a little ahead of the hitting at this point, but I have a lot of confidence. I love our offensive lineup. On the mound, we look really good. The pitchers were carving up the hitters pretty, pretty well. Ethan Small's gonna be Friday night. We have an idea of the handful of guys for the weekend. JT Gins won, Keegan James, uh, Peyton Plumley's pitched really well. Uh, Eric Sarantola's pitched really well. So these guys are all in line for some starting jobs. We're just trying to feel it out. And there's other dynamics that go into it. Who's gonna catch them? So who, you know, what rotation is best for us? So we're trying to figure out some things. It should be harder sometimes to win a job here than it is to, you know, to play anywhere else. I mean, that competition inside our locker room needs to be huge. There's not a lot of competition in center field. No offense to anybody else, even though Jake has won the job again. But you got certain guys, you know, from an offensive standpoint, a lot of guys are back. Those guys have had to come out and earn it every day. When me and Foster were competing last year, I know it was, we were best buddies off the field, but when we got on the field in between those lines, it was a battle every single day. And it brings out competitiveness, and that's how you make not only yourself better, but other people. So it's special to have so much competition every, everywhere on the field. Westy's been at short, and then I flip Gunner and Landon every other day. So they kind of, they play day in and day out. So we're trying to develop some chemistry there in the middle. Uh, we had one of the better in, middle infields in the country last year. Um, we're trying to get that back, but they're both, they're, all three are very talented. We're playing better defense than we did in the fall, which I'm really fired up on. I, I'm a big believer we got to defend to be a consistent product. There are some guys um, that are learning how to, how to be a better base runner, and uh, including me. You know, you know, even Jake and I, uh, we learn every day something new. I mean, that's just the game of baseball, and I think base running defense is, is the biggest key for us. We're extremely talented. Uh, not to say we weren't talented last year, but this year's team is uh, is just different. 